Next gained 112. The S&P 500 was up 32 and a half. It's almost the weekend in the 608. We're getting there. We're getting slowly there. Slowly but surely. And here with a look at what's going on around town is Emmy Fink. Hi, Emmy. Good to see good you guys. Good to see we you need as well. Some, some fun events in our life yes, right we now, do. don't we? We need do. something good to do this weekend. Exactly. Well, there's plenty to do. So we're going to start off with the Shakespeare play Henry the Fourth. That's taking over the Bartell Theater. And it's put on by the Madison Shakespeare Company, well known for the transformation and ascendancy to the throne of Prince Hal and the comedic role of Prince Hal's companion. Falstaff. Now, Sam D. White is very well suited for this role that he plays of Falstaff. Madison Magazine writer Aaron Conklin says he is a bust, a gut, hilarious in this role. Mm. So you have your pick of the next three nights for shows. Oh, well, that's very good. It's one I've never seen. Have you guys ever seen No, I haven't. No, it's not a very often produced work. Right, right. So why not go? Here's your chance. Mm -hmm. Take it in. Well, love lingering in the air from Valentine's Day yesterday. I still feel it. You have the coral Valentine's color on. Hangover. Oh, well, that's, that has a nice little ring to it. So the banjo playing married couple will actually take over the Overture Center. So, And there's something so cool, I think, about seeing couples who are together and they perform. You can just feel that chemistry. So we have uh, Bela Fleck and Abigail Washburn, and they're going to be performing songs from their Grammy award-winning album as well as from their newest record Echo in the Valley. So Friday night 8 o'clock the Capitol Theater at Overture and uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to see a, a real couple performing together. It is. It is. Johnny Swim. Have you guys ever heard of them? Mm -hmm. They're one of my favorites and they're married and it just brings a you know an extra yep. layer. To we have another perfect late Valentine's date. Yeah, you know, middle of the week, Valentine's Day, not a lot of people probably were able to go out and celebrate it. So go and enjoy the love and experience it with a show titled Richly Romantic. Cello master Albin Gerhardt, who has been playing classical music for over 25 years, he's going to return to the Overture Center's Overture Hall alongside the Madison Symphony Orchestra. The performance of Walton's Cello Concerto. Shows are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> Basically, you just want to live at the Overture Center. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. They should do that. A little bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. It's also time to showcase the talented kids in our area. Mm -hmm. Starting at age four, the Children's Theater of Madison will put them on stage and have them shining brightly in the production of Tuck Everlasting, a Broadway musical, of course, based on the 1975 children's novel. So 11-year-old Winnie Foster is stuck just longing for some adventure in her life. Well, enter the Tuck family. They hold the secret to immortality. They offer Winnie a chance to join them, but she has to leave her own family behind for good if she mm. does this. You can see this one at the Playhouse at Overture. Friday night, Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, or Sunday afternoon. Another Overture. I know. I'm telling you. Just <laughs> bring some snacks and camp out. <laughs> CTM does some great Yeah, they do. They sure do. And a little winter ball to round out the weekend. So I think this one is really cool. A lot of artists, when they start off, they have some issues. They don't always book out their shows, and the, the artists can definitely find some of those Starting struggling artists. dates. <laughs> yeah. You got it. Well, they uh, are having an event called Mama Cares Winter Ball, put on by the Madison Area Music Association. It's going to raise money for local musicians in need. The event is at the High Noon Saloon. It's going to include performances by a longtime local band, Honor Among Thieves, The Lower Fifth, and many more. So what a way to support some of these bands that are probably going to be huge names in the coming years and you can say you know you want some I knew him when exactly you all got right. it good deal all right Eddie thanks good to see you have guys. a good weekend happy late Valentine's Day yes. all of you <laughs> and good